grow it, love it, share it. Of course, these people are talking about vegetables and such, but I'm, of course, more thinking of bamboo. So I ordered this pack of garden canes here. I hope they're untreated. It says on the package that they're biodegradable, but they might as well have been treated with some pesticides or something. But this is what I'm using to make my little things. Apart from that, some twine, my beloved Japanese crafts knife, a hacksaw, and then I have my very handy little vise, which is important, especially if you work with small things, your fingers can't really grab them. Yes, that's it. Oh yeah, and a pencil. No ruler, no measurement tape or anything like that. Just, as we musicians say, uh, playing it by ear. Uh, another nice thing is, of course, my piece of grass, which I brought from my um, lot in South Africa. It's a useful tool for all sorts of things, especially if you want to clean the inner bit. I love doing that because little sausages come out at the end. They look like this. And I'm collecting them because I'm sure you can use them for something. Right, so what is it? Is it a soap holder? Is it a hamster ladder? Uh, not really. It's not a mobile phone stand either, although you could use it as that. So why did I make this? Because I want to experiment with different ways of joining bamboo. And rather than just coming up with useless corners and crosses I thought I better make something that is a model for a future thing that I'm making. This is one of the joints I wanted to try. Obviously this should go somewhere in the middle, not so much on the edge, So although it does work on the edge but you need to do a fair bit of fixing. My aim is to not use any glue, not use any screws, nails or any metal as such, so literally just materials that can be grown in an easy way. Not so sure about the rope making, I haven't ventured into that one, so that is actually a commercial cotton thread or what you call it. Right, so there are some different ways of joining bamboo on different ends. Here I try to just uh, end up with corners like this, which is not very stable, and then again you need to kind of wind it properly, which I haven't done. This is just a test piece I've done. Now the, the one I like the best really is the one where you kind of come in slightly on an angle, so when you split the bamboo in half it actually clips on, or rather slides in, and then you don't have to use any any glue or any screws or anything like that because it's super strong so that's going to be I think my favorite way of joining bamboo that only works though if you want to do a few in a row if you have a half piece of bamboo split in half if you make the joints like this one here it won't work because you need to kind of have a space to bring it together so these are more straight cut Anyway, then you can fix it with string and it comes out pretty sturdy. This was just a test piece uh, to see how far I go. So now, what is it? I've asked my friends on Facebook, nobody can really tell me, but it is basically just a straightforward kind of little beach chair, or you can use it in your lounge if you like, or on your lawn. So, once you sit down with your heavy bum there, legs down here, head up there you can rest back and enjoy whatever you want to enjoy so that's how it works straightforward the good thing of course is that you can fold it up and you know easily transport it or store it away so that is just one of my first ideas things I will need to make for myself in the first place and then see what comes out of it thanks for watching